Remember my Tennessee spinning gourds? Well, the squash vine borers found a different host in my garden during the weeks where I had no vulnerable squash growing. They decided to come for my gourds, which I wasn't happy about, but the spinning gourd is a C. pepo variety, which is the same classification as field pumpkins and summer squash. They really didn't prefer this gourd vine, but they definitely came for the fruits when no other host was available. So while it was proven to be resistant to the vine borers, it's still unfortunately a suitable host plant when there's nothing else to eat. So today's footage means you get to see what the borers look like, the damage they cause, and how many borers could be lurking in one tiny space. There were six in this fruit. Since the vine borer larvae are inside of my gourds, are they ruined? The answer is yes and no. The immature fruits that they've chosen are definitely ruined. The more mature affected fruits may or may not be ruined, but I suspect they will be. However, I still have many that are unaffected. The trellis vine as of now has mostly died back. There are still many runners all the way over on the other side of the garden, some climbing the snake gourd trellis and venturing out into the grassy areas where it's losing the match with the lawnmower. Therefore, I have many gourds that are matured or maturing that I can pick and likely hundreds more that I don't even know about yet. We'll find out after the first two freezes of the year. So what do I plan to do about prevention in the future? Well, most of us know that vine borers definitely prefer the wide hollow stems of bushing squash varieties and the hollow stems of our pumpkins. I already inject the vines of vulnerable varieties to prevent borers, but I didn't think about the spinning gourd being in this family. If I would have known, I would have started spraying the fruits every two to five days to lessen the rate of infestation. You can't exactly inject a gourd fruit, but I am curious as to whether the bacteria may travel to the fruits via the vascular system. If they happen to, main stem injection may be adequate for keeping them out of the gourds. I'm also going to be bagging blooms and fruits next year for hand pollination and fruit protection, which should help prevent borers from reaching a few of the fruits that I'm interested in saving seeds from. I hope this video has been a little interesting. I know it's short, but I thought it would be cool to show you guys what they look like. If videos like this interest you, especially whenever pests get into things that you think they shouldn't, let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to show you guys more of these interesting finds in the future.